and here is going to be right okay so click on generate copy the um ck go back to my postman paste in the ck copy the cs and also paste in the cs by click on send and that is going to work as you can see it is now working because hey guys welcome again to my new video in this video you are going to learn how to utilize the native WooCommerce REST API authentication with your own REST API creation. That is your custom API that you actually create with WordPress REST in it. You are going to learn how to use the WooCommerce native authentication with it. Yeah, that's simply what we are doing in this um, short tutorial. So without further ado, let me just dive you straight to it. That I don't waste the time and nobody wastes its time so let me go to my code so over here you are going to see um you are going to notice that i added a require once a plugin directory then i added added Woo api authentication to this code so now this plugin that i added as a require once file it is very very important because i actually extend the native woocommerce um rest api authentication I had to just copy and crack the entire code down. I you know I rework it to actually perform perfectly with our own pattern. Here you get it. So we can actually use it on um, normal routes, um, um, the OAuth formats, and also other method that doesn't have to do with SSL. Sure you get so now i have to just crack it down to support everything that we need okay so to use this plugin is very simple what you need to do is first of all make sure this is required at the top once the plugin is installed on your wordpress woocommerce plugin folder once it's installed pass it down here and you create your normal rest api in it just the way you normally create it create it add your you know add your parameter add your namespace Add your method add your callback which is fine then the call the permission callback you can now introduce the woo api authentication that i actually created so with other woo auth no ssl you can actually process thompson series so let me show you how many functions we have that you can actually pass into this permission callback so if i go to my github account which is currently live okay so over here we are going to see the different method you can use so we have the adi odds so this function is used to authenticate to authenticate rest api request with query string authentication method on ssl so if you are on live um url that is ssl mode you can actually go for this and if you are on no ssl that is on your test environment localhost you can go for this that is the other who out no ssl this function is going to actually work without you using ssl so let me copy this method and use it so let's say this is my um route declaration in my team folder if i go to my team folder you're going to see this code as you can see this is my store front team and inside my store front team, i go to the word function.php where i need to pass the rest api so over here now i will pass the word are they no ssl which is what i copy from here so this what no ssl is supposed to work with query string that is you pass a consumer key and consumer secrets directly to query string and is going to automatically do the processes okay and also the method that is used to actually process the authentication so it's going to work basically native just the way woocommerce um, authentication work natively and that's how it's going to work so you don't need to actually stress yourself so let's say this part is done what i'm going to do now is to use it to try it out okay so over here now i have a little word so let me just change this to testing my api with woocommerce odds okay we test it with woocommerce odds so let me click on save so previously i already had customer key and consumer secrets so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try to access this page without consumer key or consumer secrets so if i click on enter is going to actually give an error consumer key is invalid that's because 
is not being passed, okay? But in the case, in the situation whereby you use that um, SSL mode, is going to give an error that, okay, you need to actually sign in to use it. But I will advise you, if you're on localhost, use no SSL, which is very, very fine and working amazing. But if you're on live, you can use the one with SSL, okay? So now let's now go to the WooCommerce settings and let's add a new key. So <clears throat> if I add a new key now, the key that I need to add here now must be um, must be the one that's actually processed from here. Either read, write, or read, write. You know, we have read, we have write. We have read, write. So if it's read, write, that's both post and get. But if it's just write, that's post. And if it's just read, that's just read it reading only and uh, you can use post request so if i generate for this read only and i copy this um ck so to use the ck i will need to actually pass my consumer key so let me copy this consumer key and um, paste it here so in case you are wondering what i use for the consumer key, it is c-o-n-s-u-m-e-r underscore k-e-y consumer key then paste that into it and copy the consumer secrets. So I've copied the consumer secrets. The consumer secrets is also C O N S U M E R, the underscore S E C R E T. Then paste my consumer secrets. So if I enter now, you are going to notice that it's going to work. As you can see, testing my API with WooCommerce Alt. But if I um, automatically delete this and I change this API to um, what's it called? Let's say I want to access it which is using post request pattern is not going to work. So let me show you. So I will copy what I have from here, then move it down to Postman. On Postman page, I'm going to create a new um, a new request. So add a new request, and this request is going to be testing API. Then paste the URL I copied just now into this place. As you can see, the GET request is working perfectly. If I send it now, you're going to see that it's working. As you can see, it is working perfectly. So now, if I change this key to, like I alter it, it's not going to work. That's frankly speaking. Okay, so now let me now change it to something real and send. And as you can see, it is working. And what we declared so far from here is read only. So now if I try to access this using post add meta method, it's going to give an error that, okay, this is not matching your URL route method. But if I now go to my route declaration and I change this to post so that it's going to support post, if I click on save and I go to my postman, click on send, the consumer key, which is only read only will not work as you can see it says the api key provided does not have um write permission but if i change it to an api key that supports write permission it's going to work perfectly so let me go back to my um rest api section and change this to write permission method so if i click on add key then i'm going to change it to write and here is going to be right okay so click on generate copy the um ck go back to my postman paste in the ck copy the cs and also paste in the cs if i click on send and that is going to work as you can see it is now working because it's post so both post put delete patch use writes which you know it, it's other things but using get you have to declare it. so as you can see, this is amazing. And if I change anything from here, it's not going to work. Let's say I had three to this consumer key. It's not going to work. It's going to actually give an error. So I believe this will be a great um, innovation to API development, you know, without you having to download an external plugin, you no know, JWT token, go to your HTSS, start defining what you just need to define. Okay. So that's problem is gone now. Just add a plugin and start creating. Don't need to actually worry about okay, permission, callback, all those things. You don't need don't need it anymore. With just this plugin, you are good to go and your API is secure. Yeah, I can tell you, hundred percent secured. Okay, so if you have any improvements that you want me to add to this plugin, kindly comment below so that I can also improve this plugin that will actually suit 
exactly what you are trying to do, what you are trying to achieve with your projects. Okay? So, guys, thank you once again for joining my video. Thank you for watching it. If you are a new subscriber, please and please subscribe. And if you are a returning uh, subscriber, please comment and like this video. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.